Okay, everybody, I'm back. Um, everybody go to page 98. Okay, page 98. Right next to page 98 is page 99. See Bull and you see Edward in the illustration. Okay, still in the same book. At night, they slept on the ground under stars. Lucy, after their initial disappointment about Edward being unfit for consumption, took a liking to him and slept curled up beside him. Sometimes she even rested her muzzle on his tiny stomach, and then the noises she made in her sleep, whimpering and growling and shuffling, resonated inside Edward's body. To his surprise, he began to feel deep tenderness for the dog. During the night, while Bull and Lucy slept, Edward with his ever open eyes stared up at the star at the constellations he said their names and then he said the names of the people who loved him he named he started with Abilene and then went to Nellie and Lawrence and from there to Bull and Lucy and then he ended again with Abilene Abilene Nellie Lawrence Bull Lucy Abilene see Edward told Pellegrina I am not like the princess. I know about love. There were two there were times too when Bull and Lucy gathered around the campfire with other tramps. Bull was a good storyteller and an even better singer. Sing for us, the men shouted. Bull sat with Lucy, leaning against his leg, with Edward balanced on his right knee, and he sang from somewhere deep inside himself. Just as Edward could feel Lucy's whimpers and growls resonate through his body at night, he could also feel the deep, sad sounds of Bull's songs move through him. Edward loved it when Bull sang. And he was grateful to Bull, too, for sensing that a dress was not the right kind of clothing for Edward. Malone, said Bull one night, it's not my desire to offend you, or to comment negatively on your choice of car, but I'm forced to tell you that you stick out like a sore thumb in that princess dress. And also again, with no wish to offend you, that dress has seen better days. Nellie's beautiful dress had not been fair well in a dump for it, for it is subsequent ramblings, and it's some subsequent ramblings with Bull and Lucy it was torn and dirty and full of holes with barely, and it barely resembled a dress anymore. I have a solution, said Bull. I hope that it meets your approval. He took off and he took his own knit stocking cap and cut a big hole on the top of it and two small holes on the side of it. And he took it off Edward's dress. Look away, Lucy, he said to the dog. Let's not embarrass Malone. Staring at his nakedness, Bull slid the hat over Edward's head and pulled it down and poked the two arms through the smaller hose. There you go, he said to Edward. Now, you just need some pants. The pants Bull made himself cutting up several red handkerchiefs and sewing them together. So, that they formed a handkerchief, a makeshift. Sorry, so they formed a makeshift covering for Edward's long legs. Now you have a proper outlaw look," said Bull, standing back to admire his work. "Now you look like a rabbit on the run." And that is the end of chapter thirteen.